if you like Russell Crowe, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Tell him I'm not coming either. John. Does it look like I'm going home, Lara? Hey, you call him. Tell him he's alone now, and his mom and dad are not coming back. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Often not wisely, I'll grant you, but they must be governed nonetheless. That's the excuse of every tyrant in history, from Nero to Bonaparte. Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World is an epic period war drama film directed by Peter Weir and stars Russell Crowe and Paul Bettany. Combining the abstract themes of a great novel with epic period drama and the legendary action of sea battles, Master and Commander finds a struggling but relentless brash captain of an 18th century ship on the mission to hunt down a powerful enemy off the South American coast. But as inner conflicts among the crew rise, their mission is set on a deadly path. You see, I'm rather understanding of mutineers. Men pressed from their homes, their chosen occupations, confined for months aboard a wooden prison. Stephen, I profoundly respect your right to disagree with me here in this cabin, but I can only afford one rebel on this ship. Number 9. I was in the pool. You were in the pool? Yeah. Why? I had to question the mermaids. The Nice Guys is a neo-noir action comedy film directed by Shane Black and stars Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, Anjuri Rice, Matt Bomer, and Margaret Qualley. Proving that the brilliant Shane Black buddy movie formula still offers fresh wind with cynical humor, hilarious action, and purely lovable characters, The Nice Guys is everything and more you would want from a funny and harsh modern film noir. When a douchebag of private investigator and a reckless goon team up to lift a porn industry conspiracy, everything can and will go wrong. Let's get rid of this guy. Number 8 I don't believe what I see A man your age to be as strong as you are. With an ensemble cast of Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, Anne Hathaway, Eddie Redmayne, and Amanda Seyfried, the 2012 musical history drama is based on the Victor Hugo's French novel of the same name. Set in early 19th century France, the musical is directed by Tom Hooper. It recounts the tale of parole-breaking French prisoner Jean Valjean, who is being ruthlessly hunted by policeman Javert. While on the hunt, Jean agrees to foster a factory worker's daughter, a decision that goes on to change their lives forever. You make me think of a man from years ago, a man who broke his parole, he disappeared. Say what you must, don't leave it there. Number 7 I can deliver that. Just get him on the train. You heard him? I heard him. 310 to Yuma is a 2007 Western action drama film directed by James Mangold and stars Russell Crowe and Christian Bale. This daring and sharply directed Western surprises with the proof that the genre has more to offer than ever before. Outlaw Ben Wade terrorizes 1800s Arizona until he is finally captured. Now needing to be brought to trial, he must be escorted across the country. But along a railroad trail, danger looms at every turn they make on their journey. What time is it? Ten past three. Where's the 310 of Yuma? I'm running late, I suppose. How late? Beats me. Gets here when it gets here. Number six. So what you're saying is it isn't enough that you fired me for no good reason. Now you question my integrity? A chemist exposes himself to attack when he decides to appear on 60 Minutes and reveals the secrets of the tobacco industry. Director Michael Mann manages to masterfully unfold the tale of corruption and deceit. The biographical thriller drama was released in 1999 and stars Al Pacino and Russell Crowe in lead roles. Regarded as Al Pacino's best performance of the 90s, the movie manages to dazzle the crowd with its intriguing plot and outstanding screenplay. You threaten me? You threaten my family? It never crossed my mind not to honor my agreement. I will tell you, Mr. Sandifer, and Brown and Williamson too, fuck me. Well, fuck you. Number five. 
When am I supposed to see my boy? This weekend, last weekend. American Gangster is a 2007 biographical crime film directed by Ridley Scott and stars Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Carla Gugino, and Josh Brolin. The movie is fictionally based on the criminal career of Frank Lucas, a gangster who smuggled heroin into the United States on American service planes returning from the Vietnam War. But it is also the story of a dedicated and honest policeman, Richie Roberts, who heads up a joint narcotics task force with the federal government, seeking the leaders of the dealers. I swear I will pull out my gun and put a bullet in your fucking head! Now stop what you're doing and pick up the glass! Calm down, man. Okay, be cool. Sorry. Crazy, man. You don't have a gun. Number four. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. When my hand was broke, I had to work down the docks and I had to use my left. So what? No, that and luck. Cinderella Man is a 2005 biographical sports drama film directed by Ron Howard and stars Russell Crowe, Renee Zellweger, and Paul Giamatti. This true story of an athlete on his way to achieving his greatest success yet showcases the many odds and challenges of his life that stood against him. This journey of loss, injury, downfalls, but also rising, will not only give you goosebumps, but literally have you on the edge of your seat while you are witnessing one man break his limits. Bang! Unbelievable. <laughs> pop, pop, slide, slide and slip and you were like a cat. I did that on a hash. Imagine what I would have done to him if I had a couple of steaks. Jimmy. That was one hell of a goodbye. Number three. Give your career a rest. Leave her alone. A naked guy with a gun? You expect anyone to believe that? Get the fuck away from me. L.A. Confidential is a neo-noir crime film directed by Curtis Hansen and stars Kevin Spacey, Russell Crowe, Guy Pearce, Kim Basinger, and Danny DeVito. Praised for its irresistible combination of thrilling popcorn cinema, Oscar-worthy acting, and a smart, twisty story, L.A. Confidential is everything fans of the genre love to see. We follow three different police detectives in Los Angeles, all with their own motifs and dangerous obsessions. Circling around a mysterious coffee shop murder, the case quickly tangles them all up together. That's what the man got. Justice. You don't know the meaning of the word, you ignorant bastard. Yeah? you think it means getting your picture in the paper. Why don't you go after criminals for a change instead of cops? Number two. So you're not easily distracted, are you? I'm here to work. Oh, you right, I see. Crikey. A Beautiful Mind is a 2001 biographical drama film directed by Ron Howard and stars Russell Crowe, Ed Harris, Jennifer Connelly, and Paul Bettany. John Forbes Nash Jr. has seen it all. As a mathematician, he made a huge discovery towards the beginning of his profession and stood on the brink of international acclaim. But the handsome and arrogant Nash soon found himself on a painful and scary journey of self-discovery. The movie won four Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for Ron Howard. Is my roommate a dick? Hmm? Listen, we can't break the ice. How about we drown it? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Thank you. You have done an incredible job developing this guy, Karubi. Katumi. Karami. Karami. Now, we develop these assets to use them as needed. Okay, so you want to be paid to help solve Sonya's murder. Save it, all right? I'm in PR, I know a little bit about phrasing questions, so why don't you try phrasing it like this? Would I like to be paid for helping you get a book deal? Nobody's here for a book deal. Where is he? He's waiting for you. You wanna tell him you're not coming? How can you do this to Push me? Push send, tell him I'm not coming either. John. Does it look like I'm going home, Lara? Are you call him, tell him he's alone now, and his mom and dad are not coming back. Number one. Do you see that map, Maximus? That is the world which I created for 25 years. Gladiator is a 2000 epic historical drama film directed by Ridley Scott and stars Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, and Rolf Moeller. 
The story follows Hispano-Roman general Maximus Decimus Meridius, who is betrayed when Commodus, the ambitious son of Emperor Marcus Aurelius, murders his father and seizes the throne. Maximus is sentenced to slavery and rises through the ranks of the gladiatorial arena to avenge the murders of his family and his emperor. The movie won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Russell Crowe. 5,000 of my men are out there in the freezing mud. 3,000 of them are bloodied and cleaved. 2,000 will never leave this place. I will not believe that they fought and died for nothing. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.